Today's session is a story about some mysterious things happening in a new house. Stick around till the end where we talk about making some fun shadows with your hands. I'm Smita teacher and today I'm going to tell you an interesting story about the shadow. So this book is called The Shadow Book. The author is Patashi Nisukon and it is illustrated by Vinith Yesman. So one fine day, dad and mom brought us to a new house. My sister and I were really excited. Wow, a new house is so beautiful. We were very tired from moving things all day long and we fell asleep right away. Suddenly, thunder woke us up and then we saw a big black shadow at the door. It had scary eyes and long nails and its eyes glowed in the dark and it was walking straight towards us. It looked terrifying. It might be nothing, but what if it was something? My goodness, it was just my brother Sam and his cat Miss Muffet. My brother really loves his cat and he says Miss Muffet is good at catching mice. But I love my dog Flicky the most. He's a very smart dog and he watches over our house. So the next day when my sister and I were busy drawing, another strange thing happened. Another mysterious shadow showed up. It was a dark shadow with its mouth open. We could see its terrible sharp teeth. It looked so scary. It might be nothing, but let's find out what the shadow is. Oh, oh my goodness. It was just daddy with a big flower pot in his hand. Daddy loves gardening. A home is cool and breezy because he has planted lots of plants and trees in our garden. Still, I was sure there was something terrible living in the house. Later that day, I saw a big black shadow eating something in the kitchen. Oh, does it plan to eat us next? It might be nothing, but let's go in the kitchen and find out. Sizzle! Oh, it was just mom cooking in the kitchen. Mom is a great cook and the food she makes is delicious. Now, I tried to tell myself that there was nothing wrong in our new house. But that night, while my sister and I were watching television, a mysterious shadow again appeared under the stairs. Poof, poof, poof! was a monster with sharp teeth and a big mouth. Oh, it was so scary. It might be nothing, but let's go and find out. Oh my goodness, it was just my sister Barbara. Barbara is really nice and kind. She loves to save money. Her Miss Piggy is full of coins and it is the biggest bank I have ever, ever seen. Finally, we were getting ready to go to sleep. When a terrible sound and a dark monster was trying to come into our bedroom. Help! Help! The monster had something sharp in his hand. What was it going to do? Now, this was really scary. Oh no, it's moving towards us. It might be nothing. But there it's coming slowly into our room. Let's find out. Oh my goodness, it was just mom. She had brought us a big fluffy blanket and a favorite bedtime storybook. She was going to read it to us before we went to sleep. Yippee, that is so exciting. That day, I saw many mysterious and scary shadows, but they turned out to be just my imagination. I realized I had been really silly. Now, whenever I see a mysterious shadow, instead of getting scared, 
I stay calm and try to figure out what it really is. And I save my imagination for some better things. We hope you enjoyed the story. To make your own shadows, place your hands between a bright light and the wall. And look, when you bring your hand closer to the light, the shadow gets bigger. We found few hand shapes to make animals. You can try them. Let's try making this horse. First hands together. Then get your pinkies out. Spread your thumbs. Hey, there's my horse. And my horse is talking to me. <laughs>So the man gave the second little pig some sticks to build a fine house. Now the wolf won't catch me and eat me, said the second little pig. The third little pig walked on by himself. Soon he met a man who was carrying some bricks. Please give me some bricks, said the third little pig. I want to build a house for myself. So the man gave the third little pig some bricks to build a fine house. Now the wolf won't catch me and eat me, said the third little pig. The very next day, the wolf came to the house of straw. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, cried the wolf. But the first little pig replied, No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I will not let you in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. So he huffed. And he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, and the house of straw fell down. The next day, the wolf came to the house of sticks. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, cried the wolf. But the second little pig replied, No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I will not let you in. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff. And I will blow your house in, said the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed. And he huffed and he puffed. And the house of sticks fell down. The next day, the wolf came to the house of bricks. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, he cried. But the third little pig replied, No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I will not let you in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff. And I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. But the house of bricks did not fall down. The wolf was very angry, but he pretended not to be. Little pig, be ready at six o'clock tomorrow morning and I shall take you to Farmer Smith's field to find some tasty turnips. The little pig agreed, but he knew that the wolf really wanted to eat him. So the next morning, he set out to Farmer Smith's field at 5 o'clock. He filled his basket with turnips and hurried home. When the wolf came to collect the little pig, he was very angry indeed. When the wolf found out he had been tricked, he was angrier than ever. He went to the little pig's house and hammered on the door. Little pig! Little pig! I'm going to climb down your chimney and eat you up. The little pig was very frightened, but he didn't say anything. He put a huge pot of water on the fire to boil and waited. The wolf clambered down the chimney as there was no lid on the little pig's pot. And the wolf tumbled, splash, right into the boiling water. And that was the end of the wolf. 
Thank you for listening to my story. Now I'm going to sing you a song of the three little pigs. One little fat pig, two little fat pig, three little fat pig, let me in. I will blow your house down, piggy. Hurry, let me in. Hawoo!